Hi guys! Um, I'm really sorry if I sound a bit lethargic, like I've got a cold in this video. I have got a cold. We've all had it this week. I think it's just going around. Um, so, sorry for any sniffing or anything like that. Um, I'm going to start with the best news. I have lost £10. £10 in one week. I just honestly couldn't believe it when I stepped on the scales this morning. I was so happy and I haven't done any like cheeky, well, I did one cheeky mid midweek way and I'd lost like six or seven and I was like, I hope like I lose a little bit more. I was thinking maybe eight pounds I would have lost, but 10 pounds, I was so, so pleased with that. I had a little blip midweek and ate a little bit of just plain grilled chicken. Um, I was I was missing having something in my mouth, something of substance to chew on. Um, and that really did help, so I tried not to beat myself up too much about it. Obviously I was a little bit like, oh I wish I hadn't done that, I felt pretty guilty, but it didn't seem to affect my loss, so everyone's different, but I, I'm so happy with losing £10, I can't even explain. Um, I'm going to give you a little bit of a rundown on how I found the, sh the shakes that I've had so far, and which flavours I liked and didn't like, but first of all I just wanted to say, if anyone's having issues with their shakes being lumpy, if you're just using one of those shaker bottles um, or a little bit of a weird texture, invest in one of these. It was about £20 off of Amazon and it blends up, it blends ice really nicely. So I have my shakes, 200ml of water, um, the shake powder and then three to four or four cubes of ice. And it makes them so smooth, so nice. When you have the vanilla one, it literally tastes like melted ice cream. But I've heard on Facebook and on a lot of forums and stuff and people who are doing the diet that they found the shakes quite lumpy and I could not have a lumpy shake, if I'm honest with you. Um, so really, invest in one of these. £20, that was it. Um, I think they've always got like deals and stuff on them, but it is, and they probably do even cheaper ones than that, but that's the one I use, and it's so good. I've also been having them all in one of these double walled like cups. I love copper, it goes with my kitchen, it's so cute. I think this was like 4 99 from, ooh, 4 99 from New Look, I think, and this, this is my baby, this will come on the journey with me. Um, okay, let's get on to talking about some of the shakes. So I've already said about vanilla, just like ice cream, really like that nice vanilla-y flavour. Um, and I'm not really a fan of vanilla things, sometimes I find them a bit like plain and not very nice, but I really, really rate the vanilla. I'm going to tell you from, maybe from my least favourite to my most favourite, so I'm going to start with chocolate orange. Now I ordered a lot of chocolate orange, and I didn't like it, which is so annoying. I think if you're just starting out, try and order one of each flavour because you might really like, this is what I found, you'll, you'll really like the ones that you don't think you're going to like and the ones that you think you're going to like, you won't like at all. That is what has happened to me. So I ordered quite a few chocolate oranges, I didn't like it, it tastes quite artificial. I think because I like chocolate so much before I started the diet, um, and I'm a real Cadbury's girl, like, I, I wouldn't, I rarely eat anything less basically um so chocolate orange wasn't for me quite artificial wasn't very orangey was just kind of that like proteiny chocolate flavor didn't like it um next least favorite would be oh white chocolate and raspberry what a disappointment i've got to tell you i honestly thought white chocolate and raspberry would be so nice I read like, oh, it's like one of those Crushems, the white chocolate Crushems from KFC. Whoever told me that is a liar, okay? I'm just saying, it's nothing like that. It tastes so like, it doesn't taste like white chocolate. It doesn't taste like raspberry. I don't even know what it tastes like. It just tastes, oh, I, that's the worst explanation, but not recommended white chocolate and raspberry basically what did i write about it i wrote taste artificial that was it i was oh, i remember being so unpleased that day because i was so excited to try it and then it wasn't good and i was like oh no um then probably creamy coconut see i liked the taste of the creamy coconut when i first started having it it tastes a lot like um the inside of a bounty but there was something about the creaminess of it that didn't sit well in my stomach. I still liked it, I would definitely have it again. 
um, but it didn't sit that well with me on the day that I had that one. Uh, then it's probably cookies and cream, which was nice, really, really tasty. Um, didn't taste much like cookies, it was more just like a creamy kind of flavour. Um, but it was really nice, I liked that one. Uh, then we get to my top three. So, number three, lemon cheesecake. Woo! When I had this smoothie, this was when I was like, I can do this diet. This diet is for me. I love it. This one's the lemon cheesecake. I'm actually going to have this after I do this video and I'm so excited. It tastes like, like a lemon meringue kind of yoghurt. But it tastes really good. Like it's definitely got that like biscuity flavour, like a gingery biscuit flavour. And then a, a creamy lemon flavour. And it's really nice. Like genuinely it's such a nice flavour. Um, then probably my number two would be honeycomb. Um, and I really, really like this one. It's not a strong honeycomb flavour, which if it was, I wouldn't like it. But it's just like a nice, sweet, like, background taste. Really rate that one. And my number one has to be toffee caramel. Wow. I think I only ordered maybe five toffee caramels in my whole month's worth. And I've had to order more because it tastes so nice. It's just like, like a caramel sweet. And it, it's just so easy to drink. I don't... Like, I don't want to be doing a diet where I'm having three shakes a day and I, I find them difficult to drink. Like, that's... It's not going to be, like, fun for me to do. I'm going to feel like I'm, like, doing something horrible to myself. Whereas drinking a toffee caramel shake is so easy. Like, honestly, I find it so easy and it's so tasty. And I've been really enjoying... Especially those top three, they definitely... I've been getting me through. I normally start with one that I don't like quite so much. So maybe a chocolate orange or... Oh, I have actually had chocolate mint as well, which tastes like a mint arrow and it's really good. Um, chocolate mint in the morning. And then I normally have one of my favourites as like a dessert. So yeah, I've been loving some of the shakes. I've been so happy that they were so much tastier than I thought because... Like I said, there's no point in doing it if you really don't enjoy them because you're just going to feel like you're like stopping yourself from having anything that you enjoy um i just wanted to talk about some things because there's been a lot of talk this week about what can i do when i'm bored when i'm hungry what can i do in the evenings and i've got a few ideas because i have been trying to like come up with a little list of like things that i've been doing this week and mainly it's just been like getting really into a series on the telly. I can really, really recommend Gossip Girl. That's got so many series. You'll be there for like weeks sitting there watching it. Um, am I still in focus? Yeah. Um, and Power as well. Both on Netflix. Both really good. There's so many others. Breaking Bad. I could go on for days. If anyone wants to hear the rest of my recommendations, just comment down below. Um, do a face mask. I actually bought one of my favourite face mask just to show you. This is the Kiehl's Rare Earth Deep Pore Cleansing Mask. When I've got this on, like I like to do things that help me to relax in the evening so I'm not thinking oh I really want to eat some food or sorry my throat's going so croaky <clears throat> or I really want to eat some food and or I just keep thinking about food so having a long bath, having a shower, having a face mask on, painting my nails, doing things like that really helps me. I know if you're not like a girly girl, that's not really going to help you, but that is what I've been doing. Um, other things are reading a book. This is one that I haven't actually started yet. It's called I Was Here by Gail Foreman. I'm really excited to start this, but I've just finished a book called Mad Girl, and that really helped this week when I was like desperate for a bit of food, basically. <laughs> Um, another thing I like to do is to go on websites like ASOS and Misguided and fill my basket with things that I want to buy. I think every two stone I'm going to treat myself to like a new pair of jeans or a new top or something that I really want. Um, just to feel like I'm still treating myself and I'm hoping after two stone or after four stone I will need some new clothes. That is the plan. Um, like I don't feel like my clothes are getting any... I don't feel like I look any different at the moment, but £10 is £10, I'm not complaining. Um, other things, yeah, creating baskets on shopping sites, scrolling through Instagram and Facebook, um, 
I personally do this because I follow a lot of people who I'm inspired by, people like Khloe Kardashian and people like fitness experts, that kind of thing. So that's personally why I do it. You have to be really careful if you follow a lot of like food accounts and cooks and people who like to make cupcakes and that kind of thing. Because I have been on Facebook a little bit this week and I've been like, oh my god, that salted caramel ice cream that they're making on the BuzzFeed Tasty um, feed looks freaking amazing. So you got to be really careful that you're not following those kind of accounts because that will... It won't help, basically. Um, but yeah, so I found that really fun to do this week as well. Also, people I know like to do like crafting, knitting, that kind of stuff. Anything just to occupy your mind, basically. You will find something. I know a lot of people don't find their first week as simple or as easy as I might have done. I've actually found it a lot easier than I thought I was going to. I thought I was going to be in like some kind of living hell this week, and I really wasn't. I had such a nice week. Um, by about day four like the headache had gone and I've just been I've been trying to stay really positive there's no point in being negative and um, you've just got to think this is what I'm doing now this is what I have I have three shakes a day um, I've actually ordered some bars so I'm going to be trying them um, and I'll let you guys know what I think about those two um, water intake my water intake has been crazy i think because i've had a sore throat as well it's been even higher like i feel really dry at the moment i could do with a drink um but i make sure i have minimum six pints of water a day i don't have like a big bottle but if i did i would be drinking that um so minimum six pints a day i try and do eight and i always have two pints of water before my first shake um every morning i wake up pretty early because i have a little boy so i have two pints of water then my shake and then follow it on with the rest of the water for the rest of the day also in the evenings i find i drink an awful lot of water as well um that does come with the uh i don't know what the word is problem that you will be on the toilet a lot i spend so i watch obviously like half an hour an hour programs on the telly each night every single advert i have to go for a wee I just can't stop myself. Is this a problem that everyone has? I'm hoping as my body gets used to the amount of water it's having, it's gonna slow down because I I can't leave the house for more than half an hour without needing to find a toilet. I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, I am a mum, like I have had a child and you know, everything down there does get a little bit less <laughs> able to hold it in. But I mean, every 15 minutes is a lot. So let me know down below if you are on this diet and you wee a lot still. If you've been on it for a long time, I'd be really interested to know. Um, so yeah, that has been my first week on Exante. I have loved it, if I'm honest with you. I've had a great time. I'm feeling so positive about like the, the next four weeks, five weeks, six weeks doing this. Uh, like I said, I've ordered some bars, so next week you'll be getting a review on them. Um, and let me know what else you'd like to see this week. Obviously this this coming week. Obviously this week I did what to do when you're bored or hungry. So give me some ideas on what you'd like to see for next week. I hope you're all doing really well. Please hit subscribe. Please comment down below with your loss for this week. Or if you're just starting, I'd love to know. I try and reply to all of my comments. So yeah, I'm so happy that I've lost £10. And I'll see you guys all next week with hopefully, I want to lose minimum four next week. So that'll be a stone in two weeks. So can't wait. I'm so excited. Thanks for watching guys. Love you.